One of the great powers that we have been given is spiritual dominion. And that is a concept that not very many people understand. I pray that after today you will claim your spiritual dominion through the right use of your power of choice. See, you are not in bondage to people, to places, or to things. God has given you a wonderful faculty of judgment and renunciation. You have the biblical power to say yes, and you have the ability to say no. If you have felt unjustly and obligated to others in some way, you release this thought. We get in bondage to others in our mind. Instead, you convey love and appreciation to them and everyone in the world, and you know that the true source of all good is God. If you have felt unduly responsible for others, you release this thought and you give your loving, your prayerful support to others and affirm the activity of God, the true source of all of their good at work in their own lives. Right now, you claim your spiritual dominion and you commit your power of choice to God's guidance. If you are led in all that you should be, it will change your life. You leave to others all that God would have them to do. You use your faculty of judgment and renunciation to wisely say yes or to say no. You might have heard me tell this story before, and it's happened in many different ways and, and through different people throughout my ministry. But one time I was doing a seminar and a, a lawyer that was sitting on the front row stood up and said, you know, I hate being a lawyer. I've never wanted to be a lawyer. I was a lawyer only because mom and dad wanted me to be a lawyer. And now here I am at 66 years of age and I'm still a lawyer. They're long gone. And, and I've never liked one day of doing what I'm doing. So often we live our lives not for ourselves, but for other people. And therefore, we might wonder at some times, where's our life? Where is the fulfillment in our lives? In the end, you have to live your own life. You have to allow your soul to have expression. And therefore, realize early on, I hope, that you have the power of choice that you have spiritual dominion. The first place to realize this is in your mind, that you have to give yourself your own freedom in your mind and not feel unduly tied to others and their, their anticipations of what you should be. I pray that you pray about this that you claim your spiritual dominion through the right use of your power of choice, that you have the ability to say yes, you also have the power to say no.